Got a little smoke coming out of the headlight there. Yeah, looks like I got a problem. Okay. Valve cover. Take one. <laughs> with the other side. I don't think you can. Just in case, we won't take that risk. Tube. I guess we're going to have to undo that 10 millimeter bolt get that tube far enough to pull off of there. Otherwise we'll be fighting. Yeah, I don't really particularly want to deal with that air tube on the back. It's difficult to get to. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this clamp back if I can. Thank <laughs> you. 
lights off. And honestly, I don't see where it's the lake. Yeah, I do. Thank God. Okay, so this is my problem right here. See that crack in that? This is hard and brittle. And this is on the downhill side. So the oil is able to collect in this area and go out there. And of course create my smoke screen. Alright, so rinse and repeat. So now you can buy these individually, 10 bucks a piece or so. And it is directional. Goes in there. There's thinner spots, including these tabs here. That helps hold the gasket in when you put it in, put it together, so it don't flop out when you flip it upside down. <coughs> Just slip it underneath. I guess if you wanted to, you could bend those tabs. I prefer not to. We might have to. <laughs> yeah. So, like I say, it's bend the tab a little bit. Gasket in and re bend the tab back just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, and it wouldn't be a bad idea to put chassis lube or something uh, on this seal. And that, well, that way when you tighten it down, it'll help it to uh, not pinch and spread out flat. But I don't have any here today, so I'm just going to go with it. so I make sure that it doesn't come out.
of sliding it around on there to make sure that the gasket is inserted all the way. And I have a level surface. Alright, let's go for the easy ones first. You can get replacement gaskets with these new rubber grommets and it comes in a set and it's a bit more expensive and I don't need that today, I just need to resolve this particular issue. Okay, now that I got two started, I think. Yeah. And everything else should go pretty easy. Okay, that's all of them for the valve cover gasket. I just need to tighten them up. Screwdriver hand tights plenty, but you do want to try to go evenly, try to cross maybe across from each other or whatever works for you just as long as it goes down even. I can't see this one, so I'm just guiding my screwdriver on there by hand, feeling where the screw is. That <laughs> tight. Okay, now that out of the way, let's get these bolts in there. Snug, doesn't take a lot. So you see that loom right there, that little tip goes into that hole. Usually you can just force those off. You gotta be careful, you just break this plastic really easy. It's pretty fragile, it's old stuff. This car's a 97, so whatever the math is there. Two sensors. Let's see, two of them. There they are. Okay. So two of them I did not undo because it was on that side. Um, I don't know what the fitting situation is here. They look the same, so it's a possibility you could cross them from left to right. And that obviously would not be a good thing. Looks like this has both freaking clips are broke. So do something with those later in a minute. You can zip tie it under the rail. Probably be a good idea. Okay. That's good.
Okay, I will redo these zip ties. I'm gonna let it run a bit, make sure that we don't have any leaks. It is gonna smoke a little bit because I still have oil on that exhaust manifold. Have anything to say? Leave me some comments. I'd be happy to answer for you.